The classic grunt voice returning in Halo Infinite, our first look at the Halo TV show Warthog, and Moa Burger flavored Pringles? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button, let me know you want to see some more content, as well as if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Well, the first bit of news I'm going to cover is most likely the return of the classic grunt voice coming back in Halo Infinite. As we do know that Halo Infinite is going to be a soft reboot of the franchise, taking heavy influence from Combat Evolved and all the other Halo titles in previous. And why do I say the grunts specifically? Well, we do know that Joseph Staten returned to Halo's development back in August of 2020, and Joseph Staten has a very unique spot within uh, Halo's voice acting. Not only is he the guy who essentially created the world of Halo and the lore that was written all around it, but he also did the voice acting for the grunts as well. You don't believe me? Well, check out these clips right here. Can you do the grunt voice though, real quick? Do the grunt voice for you? Sure, yeah. I'd love to do the grunt voice to the dead. That was pretty funny. Ah! Oh, that would have sucked. Never mind. <clears throat> uh, hey Jason, keep feeding me ideas. Oh wait, I just thought of one. Kiss my now, why do I say this? Because Joseph Staten recently tweeted out this that really hints at him coming back as doing the voices for the grunts, saying, I did voiceover session today. I honestly haven't laughed that much in a year. At this point, Grim Brother One, who's also part of 343, camera froze on a serious face frame, and staring at that frame was the only thing that kept me from losing it. So what could Joseph Staten be doing with voiceover work that would just make him crack up laughing? Well, I think it's some awesome dialogue we'll be seeing from the grunts. Halo does have a long history of rare dialogue and some hidden dialogue segments as well, so I would totally expect to see something similar to that within Halo Infinite. Even in Halo 3, there was the I would have been your daddy school, which made rare dialogue, which tend to be more comedic in value, come up more often. So Halo has a long history of some unique dialogue for sure. Got one, kill, dead, kill you, you dead, motherfucker. Knowing that Joseph Stane did some voiceover work in Halo Infinite, makes me think that the grunts are gonna come back with that familiar kind of comedy element that we haven't really seen in the 343 Industries era of Halo. Next up, we have our first look at the Halo TV show Warthog. These are actually some leaked images that made their way online. The original post has been taken down, which was on a Facebook group. The post was from a person who lives just outside of Budapest in the kind of suburb kind of town, and they actually were able to grab a couple pictures of some of the stuff that was going on with the Halo TV show. They were here of the Warhog. It's very much more reminiscent of, say, like the Halo 4, maybe a little bit of the Halo 5 Warhog. Uh, this is going to be kind of interesting since Halo TV show is meant to be a bit of a prequel since Captain Keys is part of the show. And, uh, well, Captain Keys died in Halo Combat Evolved. So they definitely went with a more newer era design. Uh, you can take a look at these uh, Marines as well. A little bit more modernized versions of these Marines that we've seen as well. Uh, now a lot of people I'm sure like lore wise or continuity wise would probably be a little bit upset because they're going with a new art style design. I think this is more just to have the continuity between the Halo TV show and the Halo Infinite game. So where like, if you're hopping back and forth between these two different forms of media, there's some continuity between those two. So I think that's the reason why they might have gone with the more modernized version of the Warhogs, even though this is a bit of a prequel set TV show. And also the TV show isn't set in canon as well. So it's more for entertainment purposes as well. So keep that in mind, but really cool to see that the team is back, you know, making production for the Halo TV show. I definitely will be covering it a bunch and more news if anything comes up further with the Halo TV show. If you guys remember, it was just announced that the Halo TV show will be released in 2022 it sounds like q1 so likely i would say the spring so march or april we'll probably see it being released around then it will also be available on paramount plus which is essentially like disney plus but for paramount products on there as well so another streaming service to buy into but at least it's a streaming service this is one thing i was really worried about the halo tv show that it'd be stuck on cable with showtime having to buy in the cable having to watch at a specific time and making recording and sharing clips and just talking about it in general far more difficult than it needed to be so knowing that it's on a streaming service 
really eases my concerns of people being able to access this media at proper time. Because let's be honest, like how many people own cable? I mean, I haven't owned cable in like 10 years. And so knowing that's on a streaming service is very much appreciated. And I don't have to give any more money to my Comcast overlords. Last bit of news in this conglomerate news video we're talking about, we have Moa Burger flavored Pringles. Yes, I'm not joking. This is a real thing. I've been seeing pictures online. This isn't Photoshopped or anything. Take a look at the picture here. It's Pringles, wavy Pringles. They're Moa Burger flavored Pringles to promote Halo Infinite. Uh, if you guys know Moa Burgers, they're kind of a thing that was in Halo Reach, which you can see by this picture right here. There's an in-game advertisement for $7.77. Very bungee like to have a Moa Burger for you to be available. And it's a quadruple stack on there. And to keep it lore accurate, Pringles also did a quadruple stack Moa Burger for the cover art as well. I literally went out of my house, went to, I heard these are in Walmart, so I went to Walmart, it's a grocery store Walmart too, was not there for me. I also went to a Safeway to find it there, not there as well. So I really wanted to find it for you guys, see if there's any kind of codes or anything attached with this as well. But next time you guys are grocery shopping and you're walking by the chips aisle, well, keep an eye out for your Moa Burger flavored Pringles. If I ever get my hands on these Moa Burger flavored Pringles, I guarantee you I'll make a post on my channel here. So make sure you subscribe to catch that whenever that has a chance to go live. I well, hope you guys like these news stories that kind of fell between the cracks right there. If you like these more kind of videos like this, make sure you tap that like button. If you guys made some any content, for me recently or beyond the loop for halo for the last few days or so check out the videos on the screen right here and link to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out